So uh, we've got this piecewise function, and we're asked about continuity. So the calculus defi definition of continuity is that a function is continuous at x equals a if the limit as x approaches whatever number you're talking about, like as if we're checking out x equals 2, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x from the left is equal to the limit as x approaches 2, or you know, in this case a, I'm just keeping it abstract with the letter a, it could be whatever number you want. Those limits need to be the same. <clears throat> and this one last additional point, if you plug in uh, a, you should get the same thing as these limits. Okay, So this says if you plug in a number just a little bit smaller than a, if you plug in a number a little bit bigger than a, they should be the same thing. <clears throat> And then you should also get the same thing if you plug in exactly that number. So we'll put that definition to the test of these questions. A says, does f of 1 exist? That means, can you plug in exactly x equals 1? And you can. Look at the definitions over here for the piecewise functions. When x is less than 0 but greater than negative 1, you use this one. And x is between 0 and 1 but not equal to 1, we use this one. When x equals 1, we do have a value. Uh, yes f of 1 does exist, and the value we get out is 1. Does the limit as x approaches 1 exist? So for this limit to exist, this part has to be true, just this part. That's, um, that's, the, that's uh, when you're trying to evaluate a limit when they don't say uh, which side to evaluate from. So in other words, for this to be true, for this to exist, the limit as x approaches 1 from the left needs to be the same as the limit as the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. <clears throat> so let's figure that out. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left of our function. Oh, I cut out the graph. Okay, let me sketch it real quick. We don't really need the graph though because we can do this algebraically. I don't know. If you if you get the textbook, you can follow along. There's a graph in the textbook. But uh the limit as x approaches 1 from the left means we're going to use this function, right? Because think of a number slightly less than 1. That's what the limit as x approaches 1 from the left roughly means. It's so like 0 0.999. If you tried to plug in 0 0.999 somewhere in here, then you have to use this part of the piecewise function because this is when x is slightly less than 1. And if you do that, 2 times 0 0.99999, you know, infinitely, infinite many decimals, you're going to be doing 2 times 1. That makes 2. So yes, that limit does exist. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right, we're going to use this piece of the piecewise function. Because think of a number slightly bigger than 1, like 1.0001. 1. You'd have to plug it in this part of the piecewise function because this is when x can be, gra uh, this is when x can be greater than 1. OK, so if you're plugging in approximately 1 in here, negative 2 times 1 makes negative 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So does the limit exist? Yes, it's 2. The limit, as x approaches 1 from the left and from the right, they agree, and they both make 2. So yes, the limit does exist. Does this limit equal the exact value if you plug in 1? Look, that's what we answered in this part up here. We got out a y value of 1 when we plug in exactly 1. But if you approach 1 using, the, using calculus and limits, you get out 2. So does the limit equal the exact value? No. So is it continuous? No. This needs to be true. Look, this is just a shorter version of what I just wrote over here. Okay, So that needs to be true in order to say that it's continuous. At what values of x is, is f continuous? So we got to think about every single spot. That stinks. This is probably best for the graph. Let me sketch it real quick. We could do it. Just take a long time looking at it piecewise function algebraically. So here's negative 1, open circle, goes down like this, open circle, here's 1, here's 2, here's a dot, oh wait, no, it's an open circle up here, sorry. It's a removable discontinuity there. That goes down to 2, open dot at x equals 2, and then the line continues to x equals 3, open.
Okay, so there's the graph of all this crazy stuff with this piecewise function. At what values is x of x is f continuous? So trace this with your finger. You don't have to lift your finger. Don't have to lift your finger. Don't lift your finger. Oh, we got to lift our finger here. There's a jump discontinuity. So from starting at x equals negative 1 to x equals 0, it's continuous. It's continuous from negative 1 to 0 on the x-axis. But then it's also continuous here, right? You can trace with your finger and you never have to lift it until we get to x equals 1. And then we have a removable discontinuity. So 0 to 1 is continuous. And then we can trace with our finger here. Uh, I'll explain this in just seconds or so. From, uh, I'll do it right now. <laughs> from 1 to 2, it's continuous. <laughs> I don't know why I was waiting. Uh, but it exactly... <laughs> don't, it's, I'm doing this at like 9.30 at night. Uh, at x equals 2, if you try to plug in a number, you can't, right? That's part of continuity. You want to be able to plug in 2 and get out some number. But according to our piecewise function, we don't have anything defined at exactly x equals 2. So this is undefined. So it can't be continuous because we can't get a number out of this part of the continuity formula. So it is discontinuous at x equals 2. So we need another union. From 1 to 2, it's continuous. But we have to stop our interval when we get to 2. And then look, you can trace with your finger again until you get to, get to 3. So from 2 to 3, it's also continuous. That's all the points of continuity. What else? <clears throat> what new value should be assigned to f of 1 to make the... So back up here. We said that if you plug in 1, you get out 1. But if you take the limit as you approach 1, the y values are 2. Those don't agree. So to make it work, we just need to change this removal discontinuity. Instead of jumping down, wait, oh, I got the wrong dot. It should be right here. I'm sorry. That probably confused some of you. That's at 1, 1 in the textbook. Okay, so all we need to do is hoist this dot up here. Instead of being down here, we need to move it up here. So at x equals 1, we need a y value of 2. Okay, so that's the value you should assign to the function to make it continuous.